Welcome back everyone to Melanie's Journals and in this video we're going to uh, set up uh, the first journal for 2024. Very excited to start this journal. This is a beautiful journal from Archer and Olive. I'll show you some of the spine. It's from their September subscription box which is themed around um, vintage libraries and yeah it was just beautiful so I'm very excited to get into it. And it's going to kind of show the uh, theme of this year, which is all about the different aesthetics that we uh, see around us. So um, dark academia, college core, um, anything along those those lines. Um, and I really thought that this notebook would really fit with that that theme and that setup. Um, so yeah, very excited to uh, show you. So this is an 8.5 notebook with a white dot grip grid pages and right here on the cover page I'm going to um, decorate this is just going to be my my name page before we move on to a lot bigger decorations um, I want to have quite a few elements here that are um, all to do with yeah, dark academia um, vintage libraries and um, anything like that um, and I'm also going to try this year to use a bit more uh, stickers, use washi tapes a bit more um, and some stamps as well. Um, I love drawing and painting, um, but I think it's nice to just kind of combine the things a bit more. Um, also to make it a bit easier to maybe recreate if you want to. So I'm very excited to start experimenting with that. But what I'm going to do first is actually make a different uh, page for the name. So I'd like to cover this up. It's it's fine as it is, but I'd like to make it a bit more unique by putting on some um, some tea stain paper, covering this page with some paint and then just start decorating everything. Um, so I'm going to start with my name and I've used these washi tapes. I'm going to try and link any and all stickers and washi tapes that I can find whenever possible. So it's going to be quite a small section to write my name in, um, but I think this is going to look very, very cute. So I'm going to um, stick things in. I um, probably should play a bit more music uh, unless I want to really explain what I'm doing, but I'm hoping it's going to be as straightforward as possible. Okay, so as you can see, it didn't really work out. I mean, the shine is very nice, but now it just looks very muddy. So um, I have these other beautiful stickers, uh, which are all kind of part of this vintage collection that you will see me use anyway. And I'm going to lay this on top. It doesn't cover it completely, but I do kind of like that. It's going to have some of the butterfly outlines coming out of it. Um, so yes, just some damage control.
is the name page. Quite happy how it turned out. It's a lot more busy than I initially expected. I just kept adding in things. Um, but I'm very happy how it turned out. I really like the scrapbooking style um, and just a combination of, of everything together. And hopefully this will give you a bit of a indication of the theming um, that's going to happen for the yearly setup, but also some of the months that we will um, be planning in this journal. So yeah, let's uh, go to the next page and start the um, full on cover page, which is going to be a painting this time. So here is the cover page of uh, this yearly spread and I am super excited to start painting it. It was a lot of drawing work, uh, but I'm very, very happy with the result. It's supposed to resemble this like beautiful library with lots of green and I just love this staircase. A uh, nice window with an armchair to read books and just some knickknacks here, here and there. Um, and there's going to be an even cooler thing, which is that this door opens because of course you cannot have a library without some sort of secret door. But you will see that come together um, uh, after this painting is done. But yeah, let's get to it.
Okay, so the main painting is done. I'm now going to go in with some metallic paints just to give some extra details and then we can make it into the uh, cover page into my journal. Okay, so it took a bit of time, but this is finally in my journal. I decided to add some black here just to fill up the staircase to make it blend in a little bit more. Um, and of course, I made a little cutout, um, which I wanted to make open just by lifting the book, but it's not really working the way I wanted to, but that's okay. The principle is there. Um, and then once we open this, we are gonna go into a fantasy world and into a new uh, beginning for 2024. Um, I'm yeah, very, very happy how this page turned out. I think it has uh, the cozy atmosphere that I was looking for, and it's also very colorful. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Um, and the full uncut page of this will be available on my Patreon, so you can check it out there and download it if you want to use it yourself. Um, now let's go on and move on to the inside here of the secret bookcase okay so I've kind of changed my setup here where I'm filming um, but I want to do the next page of the journal initially I was going to use quite a few um, paper um, items here to kind of create this very whim whimsical like forest effect but the more I thought about it and puzzling I, the more it just didn't really fit with what I wanted so I'm going to paint a very very basic sort of foresty landscape here um with just the uh year um numbers uh later on but you'll see that come come together but to keep it a little bit more simple but also just keep to the painting because that's just the medium i enjoy the most um so you can start seeing me doing that now So the basis of this painting is done. Um, it was very quite simple to put together. I'm not really using any reference at all. So this is a bit more abstract than I initially had planned out, but I do really like how it's looking so far. I'm just going to add in some leaves for the trees. Um, at the far end here, they're going to be in regular paint and the rest I'm actually going to use some um, gold metallic paints uh, for that just to get that whole whimsical feel. And then later on, I'm going to color in the door and make it a kind of beautiful ornate piece, um, kind of representing maybe a bit of Narnia uh, combined with uh, Tolkien, something like that uh, to kind of throw back to sort of my other journals from last year. Um, but yeah, I hope you will, uh, you will enjoy fin uh, seeing the final result.
the finished piece. Take off and the line here. Yeah, very happy how it turned out. I think it has a very magical feel, as I said, and much happier with um, what I initially had in mind. Now, moving on to the next page, this is the yearly calendar spread. As you can see, I already started to color some things in. I kind of got carried away. Um, but yeah, this is the yearly calendar uh, where I generally notate like birthdays and stuff like that. Um, and I use some of the brown color here. Uh, and these are both from Archer and Olive. They are the uh, calligraphs and they are from the September subscription box. And so this one is the Umber colorway and the Mocha colorway. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, color in the background here with some beautiful green color and then use some washi tape here on the bottom. Um, so yeah, I hope you will enjoy seeing that come together. Okay, so the green banner is done. It kind of removed the brown lettering, but that's okay. I'm gonna go over it with some uh, gold metallic paint. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna let it dry and actually on the bottom here, put the washi tape. Now I'm thinking to use one of the um, notebook therapy washi tapes from their stories collection, which is a beautiful bookshelf theme like this. And I think it really is gonna look very nicely here. It's also the right width, so that's always good. And yeah, just going to decorate it like so. Really like how it finishes it, this off. We are going to uh, put in the metallic paints and then this spread will be done. spread in my yearly setup is the creativity tracker which is kind of a similar layout as the uh, yearly one and I'm going to decorate this with just some lovely little stickers that I got uh, just to show of some you know, creative passions and this beautiful shiny sticker of some castles and this is just a page where I can just jot down some notes stuff I'm working on and it could be anything related to drawing or uh, other handy works um, and then what I'm going to do again is to color in this uh, part here with a different color and then the side metallic paints and then stick these in and then we'll be done.
so here we have the finished creativity tracker. I'll try and show you some of the shine here. It's a little bit of a glare with the light. But yeah, I think it's very, very nice how it turned out. Um, like I said before, I'm trying to use a bit more stickers and stuff like that to also make it a bit more accessible and maybe try and recreate some of this uh, by yourself. These all came from uh, Journal Say. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go on to the next tracker. So the next tracker, as you can see, is the book tracker, and I decided, perhaps not that creatively, but to make it a whole bookshelf uh, in which I can write titles of books that I've read uh, throughout the coming year. And hopefully, um, I've been into a lot of audiobooks, so I've been reading a lot, uh, so I'm not sure if there's going to be enough space, but you know, I can always add some more later. Um, I'm just going to add in some uh, washi tape. This is some uh, from the uh, Archer and Olive collection from their September subscription box. And I'm also going to color in the banner here as well. So here is the finished book tracker. Very happy how it turned out. Love the shine, love the washi tape as well. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this rather simple, but I think very effective setup. So for the finance tracker, I'm going to use some cut up washi tape from the washi tape shop in their uh, vintage botanical collection, which has this just lovely champagne gold tones, which is kind of where I base the, um, the brown tone on to make it all kind of fit together. And here we have the finished finance tracker. Very happy how it turned out, very simple, but very effective. Now onto the health tracker. I'm gonna use some other stickers and once again color in the banner here with some corresponding colors. And here the health tracker is done. The banner turned out a bit more purple than I wanted initially, but I do really love the color and I really like how it comes together with the florals and the gold. And now we're gonna move on to the last spread, 
which is going to be my uh, socials tracker so so i can keep track of the videos and stuff that i want to upload for you all um, but yeah this is going to be the final decoration i'm going to use some washi tape this is from the dark academia uh, collection and it's like a film tape which i thought was very fitting for this spread and then once again i will color in the banner with just a nice color to complement this um, this tape. social tracker just I'm very happy how it turned out I really like the colors and I'm going to give you a final flip through of the setup so starting off with the uh, name page this whole collage which I'm so quite happy about the library with an opening door into 2024 The yearly calendar tracker, creativity tracker, book tracker, finance tracker, health tracker, and the social tracker. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this setup. Next video will be uh, the setup of January so I hope you will join me there uh, and yeah please like and subscribe and I'll see you then bye bye